What is up guys, it is Lely and today we are back in Division 1, back uploading to YouTube, back having fun. Actually wait, we don't know about the fun part yet, but we're back uploading regularly again on YouTube. If you're wondering why I took another break, as you guys knew I already went away for a week, I thought, you know, just reset, have a bit of refresh, came back and I thought, right, I haven't played the game for a week, so let's, you know, back in Division 1, we need, what is it, 9 wins out of 10, so I thought let's, you know, warm myself back into the game. Jumped back on after a week, as you can see, first game, disconnected at half time, nil nil, and I thought, oh my god, please don't do that. So I thought, okay, you know, one disconnection isn't bad. So we went straight into the next game, special match, winning 4-3 I think, after about 60 minutes, and what happens? Another disconnection. I was done. I was, I was livid at that stage. Lucky I wasn't even recording, because probably it would have been one of my highest viewed videos if that was the case, but I was just not in the mood. I was like, you know what? I, I don't need this shit. I don't need this thing like right now. There's already enough going on in my life which I'm pretty pissed off about and that's kind of took me away from YouTube as well. But then when this happened, it completely killed it. So I thought whether Pez allows me to have fun or not, I'm going to carry on YouTube because I started playing Rocket League the other day and I'm hella competitive in that game as well. So if I get pissed off like with Pez, I will upload Rocket League and trust me guys, I'm as a competitive as I am in Pez. I'm even more competitive in Rocket League, so you will be seeing a lot of that footage there because I do seem to get paired up with a lot of idiots in Rocket League as well. So I just have to share that experience with you there. But let's get off into some action in Division 1. Here we go. Look at that. I think I was on 900 rating or close to it. Two disconnections, and it's not my disconnections. I was still on PlayStation at the time, and it's took me down by 30 rating. It would probably take me about 10 wins to get it back up to 900 rating. This game is an absolute joke and we find our first opponent of the season it's against a 6-4-1 rated opponent who whoo -hoo, it's a good time to come back to Pez, isn't it right let's see what we're up against he's got Iago Aspas he's got Messi Coutinho Dembele Pogba Lengla he's got he's got a decent team I suppose right let's see how I play for him anyway we're gonna start using Mbappe a bit more barely used him this season and you know while Harris on top form you can get a little play and Let's give Keane a little run out as well. Right, let's see what this guy's actually made off as well. So he's played 666 games with a win percentage of 37.1%. I mean, if you play that many games and you're winning one out of every three, just say, and we know how this game plays. He's not going to be losing every game on merit. This game will have screwed him as well. How do you have that willpower, son? Just message me the secret. Right, here we go. Moisey Keane gets the ball rolling. Pogba, come on, here we go. Had it. Oh, oh, lovely turn, lovely turn. I wish I knew how to control that sort of stuff in this game. Oh, like that bullshit, man. I want control of the game. That's all I want. I don't want that fucking pathetic auto shield there, man. Absolutely no need for it. He's miles away from the opponent. And now we end up losing it because of that. And at least Alisson makes the save. Here we go. Come on, Pogba. Lovely turn there. See, although I didn't think he needed it that time. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, drops the shoulder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's all right, all right. Okay. Come on. We have a... Gonna go for the solo instead. Come on. Do you want Harry? It's lined up on that. Is it? Is Harry left or the right? right? Here we go. Sadio. Ooh. Rah! How do we go about this? Van Dyke. It's Van Dyke v Aspas. Of course. Of course that's gonna happen. <sighs> that's just a joke. How Van Dyke hasn't batted him in the air and. I just don't get it. Why would it not go to the guy closest to the ball? Was it not Van Dyke there and he selected the other player? How is he allowed to volley that in my box, man? Okay, come on, here we go, Salah. Cuts in. I'm just gonna have to go old school here. Old school Pez as we go towards Keane. First time hit. As easy as that, as easy as that. All right, goes long, Rory Deluxe style. Come on, Roberto, thank you. Here we go, Keane. He's all over the pitch, Keane. I don't think he should be all the way down here. That's Harriet, come on. Oh, oh, yes, somehow still has it, somehow. Oh, uh, yeah, drops the shoulder. Oh, and again, sends him for a little spin. Come on, oh, he's darts inside. Oh, my God, I don't know how I still got it. Oh, come on, ref. Ref, that's obstruction. Oh, I don't know why I've run out with Van Dyke. It's an important touch that he got there, though. That's just really bad defending from me. And, okay, I'm I need to stop rushing to this board. Yep, yeah, thank you. Oh, piss off. There we go. Van Dyke finds Partey, towards Pogba we go, looks for Harit, come on, looks for the run of Keane over the top, come on, great pass there, spots the keeper off his line, woohoo, 
don't know if he bought him out there, but I think he was just off his line enough for that to happen. Although he, him not making an attempt was a bit of a joke. Just like that there. Just like that. Am I not allowed to put a tackle in? I'm not allowed to make any contact? Come on, Keeney. Give him go. Pogba, how the fuck is your first touch that good and then your second touch is a fucking slide tackle? How? Just ridiculous. Oh, come on, Pogba. At least you can defend that one out. Come on, party gets there. No, he's not strong enough against Messi. Oh, you are joking. Oh, my God. This is just ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Shouldn't be that poor of a pass. Right, here we go to Mane. How did he make so much of a deal there? Controlling that. Doesn't matter though. He makes no deal of that though. A deserved half time lead. Probably should be more than that to be honest. But I don't know man. If you're wondering how long it's been since I've played this game. Let's just say Man United just pissed away their last chance of the worst title. Not title race. Of the worst top four race by drawing to Huddersfield. So it's the 5th of May right now. So yeah it's been what two weeks since I really played this game. But what hasn't changed in two weeks is the amount of bullshit that goes on in a single game of players. Will we get him to rage quit? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Okay, nice little turn there. Okay. Don't know if that's who he aimed for, but look at the space here for Mane. Here we go. Oh, come on. Now it's convenient lag kicks in. Doesn't matter. Pull it back towards Keane. It just doesn't feel like smart movement from Keane there. Like, why does it feel like he's so far back when I pull up on the shot? But it looks for Salah instead. It's alright. Marcelo. Okay, again, Marcelo. Second time. Looks for Pogba! Let's just hope it's not Van Dyke versus Iago Aspas. And yes, Van Dyke and looking for him is a free header. Oof, good save. I was, I was begging him to hit it because I just wanted to see a beautiful goal. But then I remembered it's against me. So I, I kind of had to stop with my uh, ambition of wanting him to strike it there. But big Virgil wins the ball as we now set up. Harry on the counter attack. Here we go, Harry. Okay, that's a good first touch. Sneaks inside his man. Come on, your first five star goal deserves it. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's game over. Game over. I'll probably get back. Thank you, Ruben Diaz. Oh, wonderful. As we look from oh, the run of Salah. Here we go, Salah. Goes for that far. There we go, Mane on the edge of the box. It's Virgil. Surprised he's done it. And again. Oh, again, I need to stop willing this guy to shoot. If he scores one of those, fantastic. No, not fantastic. I have to appreciate it. That's what I mean. Uh, now he's going straight for the direct volley. No, he's not. Uh, it's not as bad, uh, as good as. Oh my God! Where the hell is Harry going? Why do they do that? I don't like it when they run out wide and there's no one forward. Come on, Harry! Oh my God! I can't believe how tight that pass has become. Oh, lovely. Come on, Pogba looks out wide for Salah. Back to Harry we go. Okay. Trying to shift it back onto his right. Oh, lovely there. Skins pass for one. Back onto his right beautifully. Come on, had it! Oh, I love his footwork. His footwork is amazing. All right, we got this. We got this. Ruben Diaz, you're not gonna let Messi do the damage. Can you believe Messi isn't his danger man? It's actually the other aspas. That's the guy I've been feeling most uncomfortable with all game. Pogba's dead. Pogba is absolutely knackered. Right, come on, here we go. Harry, give and go. Come on, Marnie, get in on this, please. Okay. Oh, chops in beautifully. It's Marnie. Oh. Yeah, I knew that. I knew he was going to go for something special with Aspas there. We're holding on, lads. Oh, look at Aspas just doing his bits. Aspas, leave me alone. I know you left Liverpool. Not on the best of terms, but leave me alone. I liked you. Well, I liked when you left. And yeah, that's it. It felt a lot more comfortable than them stats suggested, though. And now we're up against a 7 6 9 rated opponent. Let's see his form guide and. It's like Konami apologising to me. Right, let's see what this guy's actually made of. So he's played 477 matches with a win percentage of 41.7. We should have this guy, surely. <laughs> right, let's see who he's got. He has got Ronaldo, Aubameyang, Neymar, Coutinho, Scholes, Ronaldinho. So very, very little defensive protection there going in the middle of the pitch or even up top. So surely, surely we should have a lot of space to attack into and... Ruben Diaz is going to have to come off for big Kula Bali. That has got to be the worst top four race ever. Now Arsenal have just drawn to Brighton at home. 
Who? Why? Why do they not want Champions League football? All oh, right, here we go, man. Let's get rid of that banter FC. Let's turn this guy into banter FC as we go out wide to Salah. Come on, cuts back in. That guy overly committed. It's Salah on the four. Okay, come on, Mane. Yeah, read that, read it, and look at that. Got my foot in and everything, and he somehow still has the ball. Standard, standard. Okay. We're going to let that ginger little prick control the game. No, we're not. No, we're not. It's not how we were raised. For fuck's sake, Pogba. Why are you being so lazy, man? Just ridiculous. Like, <sighs> send Mbappe up the pitch. Okay. Oh, he's just passed it to Mbappe instead. We thought we were going to get the clearance. I should have just played the one, too. Okay. We win it back again. At last, how many times do I have to get a tackling to win this ball? Oh, shit. It doesn't help when I do that, though. Come on, come on Van Dyke. thank you, we'll take that. And away we go, put so much power in that one as well. As we go towards Messi, come on, give him go. Alright, here we go, back towards him, let's get it out wide towards Mane. How, how the f do you mess that up? Lots of words, lads, lots of damn words. Come on, Salah. Do you not know where the football is? Do you not have eyes anymore or something? This is just ridiculous. Good save, Alisson on the rebound. Oh, what a block, cool a volley. What a block, and away we go on a counter attack if my team are awake, which we should capitalize on now as we go out wide for Salah. Here we go, come on, make that run, make a smarter run than that, Mbappe. He's onside. Uh, the angle's tight, but do you know what? We're going to go alone. We're going to go alone. Oh, we got that. Thank you, Roberto. Lads, I don't know how many tackles I can win, but not keep the ball. Yeah. This must be like 630 times I've tackled this cunt this match and I just do not get the ball. Every interception, every block is going back to him. It's pissing me off. Right, here we go. Come on. I'm going to have to smack this guy on a counter-attack. Okay, here we go. Messi. Towards... Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, at least Casemiro is al alive to that one. Finally, his skulls plays like Paul Skulls. Fuck off. Just fuck off. Look at the run here for Pogba! Just can't pick him out. Oh, we're in trouble. Come on, Roberto. Oh, now we're definitely in trouble. And he gets it towards Ronaldo. Lucky for us, that was a rapist touch. Like he's been playing with Lukaku already. Oh, come on! Right, how long has it been? It's been 33 minutes, and that is how much I'm struggling. I've only had 33% possession. Like, I've won so many tackles, so many interceptions and stuff, and it's just not falling back for me, man. Here we go, towards Puggers. Can we get the football going, lads? Oh, lovely from Mbappe. It gets past Ron. Piss off, Skulls. That's more like it. Come on. Oh, lovely from Mbappe. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! That's why France won the World Cup. Get it. Just put on the afterburners. A little bit of magic going through Skulls and whoever else he went through. Just in Mbappe fashion, though. This guy will feel hard done by, but he does not know how this game is feeling for me right now. So, fuck you. <laughs> ah! Come on. Oh, piss off. Piss off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, Ronaldinho, calm down. What a block. What a block. We go towards Mane. Oh, Messi skips past him. All right. Huge slice of luck, although the ref did give us an advantage. I'm going to skip it back onto Messi's. Why would you side foot it? I can't have a second half like that. I really need the game to allow me to actually win the ball and keep it. And then hold on to it a bit. Yeah, is that unreasonable? Is it unreasonable to ask his players that can't defend, like the midfield that can't defend to save its life, not to keep tackling me? Like, is that unreasonable? Here we go towards Mane again. We won us this ball back. Okay, Messi skips past and skips past De Bruyne. Thank you very much. Here we go. Bit of solo magic. Is it take two, Messi? It's all right. Gets it back there. Drops it towards Pogba. Out wide we go towards Mane. Oh, chops in beautifully. Does that chop even work? Because I've, I've done, I've rinsed PK with the chop and he somehow gets back against a guy who's much faster than him. Why even bother doing tricks in this game? Just, anyway, we're doing that. the game is feeling that shit, I'm not even going to try passing it. Right, he did it against us midweek. Can you do it in a Liverpool shirt? This time he's got his keeper over. Oh, you are fucking joking there, man. Okay. Fucking hell. Right, here we go, man. Towards Messi we go. Oh, piss off! Right, towards Casemiro we go. Look at all the space here we have. 
Mane towards Messi. Towards Pogba we go. Towards Messi and that's got to be game over. That's it. Just give me a little bit. Just a little bit of control. That's it. Ah, oh, at least that match has ended, lads. I had absolutely nothing. It felt like I had nothing but the goals, to be honest. Like, it was just one of those games where no matter what I did, I wasn't allowed to have the goal. I just was not allowed to have it. And thankfully, at least we got the right result. I think two or three counter attacks we had. And we had to make the most of them. And that's what, exactly what we did. And let's see if we can keep the perfect start to this season up against a 7-4-9 rated opponent. Let's see his form. Okay, so eh, it's all right. It's not... It's mixed. Right, let's see what this guy's made of. He has played 1,700, close to 1,800 matches with a 45% win ratio. Lads, in the gaming community, these are what you call real soldiers. To go through all this shit that many times is... Lads, surely these guys sort of love that self-torture, surely. Right, let's see what he's got. He has got Ronaldo, Benzema, Salah. You play a formation and team like that, that's probably why you have that many, like, losses. Right, let's see our players. Form guy, straight good to go. No piss but straight good, mate. Crick, 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 crick. Business time. Yeah, I had no, like, you know, cracks in there, so, yeah. You know what I did. I got YouTube creativity there. Right, here we go. Come on, lads. At least I, my team do feel a bit more responsive and on it this match. Well, let's get a touch of the board before we can really say that. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? Was that the curse from me there? But it somehow ends up being a good one there. As we go towards Salah on the back post. Oh, maybe I, sh maybe I should have gone and box. It's all right though. Messi's going to keep the pressure up with a beauty of a corner. As he looks at Salah on the back post again. Salah! Right, here we go though. Oh, Messi. Not Messi. Mbappe. Oh, piss off. And we've got the... Oh, shit. And Marcelo gets a cross. Not in time. I'm just trying a bit too much with Mbappe. And look at that. We read that. No way. Oh, for fuck's sake, Roberto. Oh, he's kept that in. Oh my god, what the hell's going on here? Right. I, I don't know what to say, lads. How do you commentate on stuff like that? When the guy's on drugs. <laughs> As we go towards... Yeah, we're, we're going to do it just because we can. Fucking get in. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, he's got a fucking sweaty little pass on there. Where the fuck is everyone in the middle, man? Towards Mbappe we go. And Messi... Takes that in beautifully as we go back towards Mbappe. Gets a cross, his man. Skips into that far corner and lads, this game's a goal fest. I don't know why I'm, why I'm rushing Van Dijk out there. Right, you stay back. You stay back. Right, we recovered the situation, I'd say. You choking him, man. What the fuck? Okay. Let's it run through. As we go back towards Mbappe. Gets a cross, his man. Lads, this Mbappe is... Unstoppable! He just seems to keep taking it away from his defenders on that first touch. Leaves them flat-footed. Which, in reality, the defensive AI should be better. Knowing they're not going to get it first. And, of course, that's going to happen. Oh, my God. No, Benzema, calm down. We've got you. We've got you covered. Thank you, Ruben Diaz. And here we go with Mane on the break. Oh, for... A fucking simple through ball over the top. Game over, man! Fucking bastards! Nah, I need to stop playing this game. The thing is, it's just a fucking sheer frustration, lads. We have the counter number on the attack. We've got the numbers against him. Easy ass goal there. Easy ass fucking goal. Like three on four, whatever. I don't know. It's just, I don't, why am I even fucking playing this game? Why? Why am I even fucking playing it? It should be 4 2 game over. That's it. That was an easy goal on there. This Gran Turismo controller is my last remaining good controller. I've already broke the other two. This is the last thing I fucking need to do. Play Pez with my one last good controller. Piss off Benzema. Yeah. And everyone's just going to smash in the clearance button. Not one bastard son of a bitch fucking jumps, man. Not one of them fucking jumps, Konami. You're fucking just FIFA 16 or whichever FIFA has an expert. You just decide to put it in the next one. Fucking shit ass game man. If the through walls, finesse shots, everything is like FIFA get it OP one year, Konami decide to do it OP the next. Do you not fucking learn? People don't like that shit. Right, here we go towards Messi. Come on. Oh, come on. Just through the gap. Uh, right, here we go. Right, Diaz beautifully gets through that gap. Yeah, of course his players are just fucking on it man. Right, here we go. Look at this space that opens up for Mane. Come on, we're going to have to drive in here 
Oh, Case gets back in towards Mbappe! He's not missing on today's form, mate! This should be really game over then, man. You see why I get so fucking angry. Because when I'm getting chances pissed away, and then this guy comes back with the most ridiculous Pez goals, fucking take him out of the son of a bitch. Right, we've got that surely Ruben Diaz. Come on, Messi. There we go. Towards Mane. Oh, thank you. Is Modric switched off? And here we go. Mbappe to kill the game. To kill said game as we look to sweat it to Mohamed Salah come on game over it's all right we end up getting a comfortable well at the end what was a comfortable 5-3 win but I'd rather the game not make goal scoring so stupidly high make us feel like we actually like have to earn our goals and I'd rather have a 2-0 win or 3-1 win rather than that ridiculous 5-3 then that it was. So we end the episode with nine points from the first three games of the season and I wanted to have a quick look with that Arsenal draw to see where it left them and unless they win and Tottenham lose to Everton on the last day of the season with an eight goal swing they're playing Europa League next year I just can't believe how piss poor of a top four race it's been this year and Chelsea got in there and Tottenham survived the scare for a top four fight because of how shit everyone is like how ridiculous is that one Huddersfield Brighton held United and Arsenal. Oh, lads, there's two banter clubs right now. Fuck that, I'm done anyway. Lads, anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did like it, lads, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace!